The people have asked and I've answered. We're giving away four pairs of custom dunks made by me. All you have to do to enter is click on the description and follow those steps. Don't wait much longer. We're picking the winners on April 14th. Tune into the video to see if you're one of the lucky winners on April 18th. Good luck, everybody. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Customs and Restoration with Vic. For today's project, we got a super beat pair of Red Octobers. Not only do the shoes need work, same thing with the dust bag. The shoe has a lot of paint chipping all around the midsole. Uppers are dirty, creasing all around. Not only that, we're also gonna be going in and bringing back the glow on the shoe. So without further ado, let's get it started. For before and after purposes, we're only gonna be working on the left shoe. Let's get started by cleaning up the outsole using our foreign spot of solution and our brass bristle brush. All done cleaning up the outsole, I made sure I took my time to make sure every little groove and ridge got fully cleaned up. Now we're on to using our Rejuvenator Soul Revive. There isn't any clear oxidation on the outsole, but the red glow isn't as vibrant as it should be. So this stuff and our indoor setup should do the trick. Let's apply it now. Just so you guys know, I applied tape over the soy to avoid any mistakes from happening. Now let's go put these in the VIC 2000. After about two days of putting the shoe in the indoor setup, they're good to go. I checked them out in the dark and the glow's a lot more vibrant and stronger. Now we're on to some prep work. During the cleaning of the outsole, the paint on the midsole started to bleed off. This is some really cheap paint. We're just gonna go ahead and wipe it all off before we move on to the cleaning of the uppers. For this, we're gonna be using some rimming alcohol and cotton balls just so we don't damage the midsole. Good to go with the prep work, now let's get back to the cleaning. In the beginning of the video, I cleaned up these outsoles, now let's take care of the uppers. So for this cleaning, we're gonna be using our Rejuvenator Stainless Shoe Cleaning Kit. For this cleaning, all we really need is our two brushes, soft and medium, solution, and shoe tree. I unfortunately cannot take out the shoelaces just because the gold aglets have been glued down, so we're just gonna have to work around it. First things first, let's take out our shoe tree and adjust it to size. Next, we're gonna grab our bottle of four ounce solution and squirt two squirts in our bowl of water. Now to carefully clean up the uppers on this shoe, we're gonna be using our soft bristle brush. We're gonna dunk in our solution and scrub in a circular motion. All right, we're all done with the soft bristle brush. Let's jump over to the medium bristle. For this brush, we're gonna take care of the spine area, get some of these scuffs off. We're also gonna go in and scrub down the sole to get the sole revive off. All right, so far so good. This restoration is off to a good start. Now, let's let these dry. Good to go with the cleaning, you guys. Some of the rubber stains that were in the toe box area lifted up nicely. The rest of the shoe looks great. We got a clean base to work with. Now, we're on to some detail work. For this, we're gonna grab our lint shaver, a lighter, some alcohol prep pads, and some scissors to do some detail work. What we're gonna do with the alcohol prep pads, we're gonna wipe down the spine to remove any of the scuffs. The lint shaver is for the sock liner to remove any of the lint. The lighter is to remove any of the little stragglers, and the scissors is for the little strings that are hanging loose.
We got that out the way. Those details are very important on any custom or restoration. Now we're back onto the midsole. First things first, we're gonna tape off the upper and sole. All taped up, now we're onto the repaint. In the past, for my Red October paint mixes, I've always used these four colors. Orange, chili red, hot pink, and neon pink as well. Real easy mix, let's lay it down using an angular brush. We're gonna take a break from the Red October and focus on the bag. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this bag needs some work also. There are some slight stains throughout the whole bag. For this, we're gonna be using our 16 ounce bottle solution and our soft bristle brush to give it a proper deep clean. Before we do that, we're gonna grab some scissors and take care of all the little loose threads throughout the entire bag. All done with the midsole repaint, it came out literally perfect. Colors on point, no paint where there shouldn't be, I'm happy. Now we're back onto the suede. On one side, I reset the nap on the suede using a brass bristle brush. It's nice and buttery soft once again, like how it should be. On this side, it's pretty dark and it's really stiff. So using the brass bristle brush, we're gonna reset the nap on the suede to make it buttery soft once again. Suede is back to that buttery soft texture. Now the last step we gotta do is bring back some of that color on that suede. For this we'll be using our rejuvenator mink oil and our brand new rejuvenator horsehair brush. We're gonna apply a couple of thin coats onto the suede. We're not gonna go too heavy on it. Then we're gonna brush it in using the horsehair brush. All right, that is gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration on these easy 2 Red Octobers. We went in using our Rejuvenator Signature Shoe Cleaning Kit to give the shoe a proper deep clean and set it out. One of the main things that we focused on was the sole. The sole was super beat up. It was covered in grime and dirt. After a lot of scrubbing, we got it back to a nice clean state. We applied some Soul Revive to really bring out the glow on the sole. After that, we removed all the old paint from the midsole and gave it a fresh new midsole repaint. On the suede, we cleaned it up, we set the nap on the suede using our brass bristle brush, then we brought it back to life using our mink oil. Other than that, you guys, that's basically everything that went into this shoe. We also went in and gave this bag a proper deep clean inside and out. This is one of the things that I've never touched before, so it was really cool to see a nice before and after on this bag. You can find all the rejuvenated products at rejuvenated.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.